how to connect Google Ads to Shopify. In this video, you'll learn how to connect Google Ads to Shopify and increase your online sales effortlessly. Get ready to take your business to the next level. Stay tuned until the very end for a special surprise. Come over here onto ads.google.com, click on start now. You just simply fill out this form right here. You enter in the business name, which is optional, and you enter in the website URL, which is also optional. Then you choose your business phone number, app download page or something else. It depends on you. And you just simply click on next and you should be good to go. After that, you just simply link your accounts as you can see right here. And then you create a campaign and you enter your payment details. But you can go ahead and skip all of these up if you want. Create a campaign goal, right? Now we just need to go ahead and select a goal. Over here, you enter in the website, your business name, and you should be good to go. You can also create an account without a campaign as well. It depends on you. And over here, you just enter in your billing address and stuff like that. We're going to go ahead and select. For now, we're just simply going to skip all of this. We're going to skip all of this leave campaign creation because this is not what we do. This is not what we want. And we just simply click on next your google ads campaign is good to go for that you can continue to your google ads account you are good to go now we'll go ahead and move on to the next step next create a google merchant account simply come over to this website google for retail you can just simply go ahead and type in google merchant center and you can just simply click on the first link now we just simply click on sign up for free do you sell products online yes i do and over here you enter in the website and you should be good to go so we just simply enter in the url for our website and we enter no and we simply click on continue we should be good to go we just simply click on continue to google merchant center enter in the business name our location and we click on continue to merchant center and there we go we have now created the google ads account and our merchant center and we are now ready for the next step now what you're gonna do next is you're gonna go back to your shopify account and make sure you have a product or two in the store it just helps with the whole process so make sure you have a product or two within the store to get started and once you've done that you should be good to go next we need to go ahead and implement our merchant account with our shopify account now let's go ahead and set up our business so over here as you can see your business it's not set up right here so let's go ahead and click on manage business details let's go ahead and confirm our online store it's going to ask us to verify it and we're going to choose how we can verify it now you have a couple of options over here so you can go ahead and get the code to your business email or you can use the e-commerce platforms and select your platform right here as you can see of course you have to copy this code right here or you can add the html tag file or or use the google tag now since we are using shopify so we're going to select the e-commerce platform that is supported we're going to select shopify and it's telling us to copy the html tag and enter it in our theme dot liquid file right here just before the header so what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and copy it. There you go. It's copied. Now we're going to go back to our Shopify store. We're going to click on our online store and we're going to click on these three dots right here. And we can duplicate this if you want to. Then you can go ahead and edit that theme and make sure it's running safely. You should be good to go. So then just simply click on edit code. Go into theme.liquid file. And right here is where you're supposed to paste this code. Just to make sure, let's go ahead and double check. So over here, there you go. Go to the themes, live, edit code. There we go in the layout folder, theme.liquid file. Paste the meta tag you copied. Google's HTML tag section right before the head section. Click save. Right before the head section. Let's go ahead and paste it. Hit enter. Click on save the tag file there you go it is now done we should be exited and we should be good to go now let's go ahead and verify it let's click on verify online store wait for a couple of seconds no html tag found well that's weird okay so it says no it was not found let's go ahead and do it one more time here we go now we have verified our store sorry about that guys it took a little bit while longer because my store was password protected and i had to remove that password protection so now it's now online so remember if it's not online if it's just simply offline then you have to go ahead and remove the password protection on your store that way it'll become online and that's how you can go ahead and verify after that just simply click on continue are almost so now the next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and click on the app store and go ahead and click on all app store and we need to search for a specific application 
its name is feed by google feed for google shopping right here we're gonna search that the application that you're gonna be looking for is this one called simproces google shopping feed it does cost 4.99 per month but they have a 21 day free trial so you can go ahead and install it and use it and see how it feels so this is going to make the process much much more easier so i highly recommend you use this application so just simply click on the install app button right here wait for it to be installed and here we go so now what we have to do is click on get started with google right here and sign in with our google application make sure you're signing in with the exact same email that you are using for your google merchant center and your ads account so it has to be the exact same email address otherwise it won't work so now we're just simply going to go ahead and select our merchant id which is right here we're going to select our here click on the drop down menu and now we just simply click on confirm to see your merchant id you can come over here onto the google merchant center click on overview and it should be this one right here as you can see 5079 57 this is your google merchant id go back to the store and see yep that's the exact same one and then just simply click on confirm and here you go your shop is google account that looks good yes i've enabled programs simply click on yes i've enabled programs so you're just simply going to go ahead and verify the domain domain has now been verified okay so shipping info was not settled but that's okay we can just simply come over here and go ahead and click on shipping and return and now we're going to go ahead and add some shipping policies and return policies you can go ahead and skip this step if you don't if you want to it's very simple you can go ahead and add shipping yourself so now we're just simply going to go ahead and add on the country we want i'm going to select the united states click on save click on continue there you go we select the country that we want click on continue now we select the products all products by carrier or you can enter specific delivery times manually if you want to it depends on you everything looks good so we can click on continue save free shipping yep free shipping click on save and click on done I believe now we are good to go let's go ahead and try shipping let's go ahead and test shipping rates there you go shipping is now verified and now we just simply go ahead and select the total published products over here we can see we have all of these settings we'll leave it at default for now if you want to go ahead and you know change some of these settings you can go ahead and go ahead and use seo title seo description and all of that you can even switch to advanced integration but it depends on you so we're just simply going to select global format and we're going to simply click on sync and we are good to go and now we just simply select our google ads account which is right here 387 we're going to go ahead and some see that as you can see 387 364 5429 which is the exact same one right here we're just simply going to go ahead and click on link account and you have the option to link them manually as well but if you want to go ahead and link them automatically you can just simply click on yes link them and it'll automatically link your account so you don't have to go ahead and link them manually it's very simple and there you go after that you just simply click on continue and you should be good to go it is as easy as that as you can see it's all linked up and you can go ahead and create a campaign over here as well if you want to another thing that you can do is you can come over here onto your google ads campaign right click on tools and settings and underneath setup go ahead and click on linked accounts find your google merchant account you will see it has says one linked account click over here and you will see that it is now linked and you are good to go so now store is now connected with both of your google accounts your google merchant account and your google ad account and there you go it was as simple as that you've just taken your first step towards skyrocketing your sales if you have any questions regarding any of this process let me know in the comment section down below then hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and don't forget to check out these videos next to prove your strategy even more 